So as you can see, I have my seed depth gauge set in a spot and I've dug away the one side of the furrow. And as you can see, this soil has been packed hard, it's shiny, and that's very consistent with seeding into wet conditions. As we know, corn roots don't like compaction and they will have a very difficult time penetrating this very hard sidewall. So as you can see, here's another spot where I pulled away the one side of the furrow and we can very clearly see the corn roots traveling down the furrow. All roots that have emerged so far have been unable to penetrate that tough sidewall. So they're just continuing to travel down the very loosely packed furrow. I've moved over to a row where it appears the furrow has been properly closed and packed. I've uncovered one side of the seed trench and as you can see, the soil here is much softer. It takes barely any pressure for me to chip away the soil. So I've partly uncovered a seed here and if I carefully dig it away and pull it, we can definitely see that the roots have been able to penetrate through the sidewall. So not every spring is perfect and what are the things that we can do if we know that we're going to be planting into soil conditions that are not quite optimum? One thing is to very pay close attention to the packing pressure of our closing wheels. In this instance where the furrow has not closed, packing pressure could have been heavier because the soil is wet and it's unable to flow naturally into the opening. It needs more pressure from the packing wheels to help force it into place. Another thing we can do is consider the use of spiked closing wheels in wet conditions. It prevents and helps break up some of that sidewall compaction that has been created by the opening discs. 